सिक्स मिलियन प्लस डाउनलोड डब्ल्यू फॉर्म प्लग इन इज अकेंड मोस्ट डाउनलोड प्लग इन ऑन वर्ड प्रेस टू क्रिएट कॉन्टेक्ट फॉर्म टॉप प्लग इन कॉन्टेक्ट फॉर्म सेवन विद टेन मिलियन डाउनलोड and the second most popular is w forms i think because contact form exists from very beginning on wordpress that's why it has so many downloads a w form is really easy plugin you can create very beautiful and useful form just by drag and drop in this video we're going to learn three important things first how to create beautiful forms using w forms plugin second how to make sure the email got delivered because email deliverability is a big problem in wordpress so we're going to set up smtp so that all email got delivered from this form And third thing we got to learn there is a feature in pro version of wp forms where you can store the database of the form submission on the website how you can get this feature for free without paying for the wp forms pro version go to plugins and click on add new and then here you need to find wp forms you will find this plugin here wp forms easy form builder for wordpress contact form payment form service and much more you can do lot of stuff with wp forms you can even directly receive the payments from forms create surveys and so many nice things click on install now once install click on activate so when you install the first time you will have the screen and then you can click on create a first form and then the form builder will load you can see welcome to the form builder click on let's go now you need to give the form name contact us form and then you can select a template from here either you can create a blank form and you can add all the fields by yourself or you can choose a simple form there's some templates here which are free if you want you can just click on view demo and then you can see how this form looks like and you can import directly this form to your website you can see there is a newsletter sign up form you can click on view demo and then you can use this template on your website there are multiple forms available here and then there's so many forms available in the pro version in this video we are not going to use pro version we are going to do everything with free version so what i will do i will create a blank form and now on the left side you can see there are all available fields which we can add to our forms on the right side let's start building our form So I'll drag the name field and I'll drop it here, and then you can see name, first name, and last name is added here. If you just click on this field from here, and then you go to advance, you can see if you want to change the field size, you can change it from small, medium, or you can choose large. And from here in format, from first last, what you can do, you can just keep it simple, or if you want, you can choose it to first and last, which is the most used format. And then we can go back to again add fields. and now we can add email here you just drag it and we can drop it here so email field is added same like this we can go to advance and make it a big field don't worry about it here you can see the form is really big but when we going to add it on the page it will take the width of the container where you will add this form then you can go back to journal and you will see the option here required if you just uncheck this option this email will not be required but i think name and email should be required because there's a whole point of adding a form on your website because you want to get some information from your visitors then we'll go back to add fields then you can add paragraph text and then you can select this and then you can say your message and there's so many other fields here and that's it you just create a contact form okay now what you need to do is click on save here so form is saved and then we can go to settings and now you come to general from here you can change the name of the form then also you can change the text of the submit button for example from submit you can say send and then there's some advanced options here if you want to add some class or button class you can add those from here and then spam protection security you can leave everything just like this here if you xmet plugin inside you can enable this option from here right now you can see i don't have a xmet plugin on my website that's why you can see this pop up saying to install the xmet plugin first and then we have themes and then notifications notification from here you can enable notification and here you can see send to email address from here by default it will go to the admin of your wordpress website and then your new email subject line new contact us form entry you can just say entry from and then you can check show smart text and then you can select name so now by default the name entered by the user in the form will be added here in the subject line and then you can give it any name then all field will be here by default you can click on save and then you can click on confirmations and confirmation type you can set different things there is a message here so when somebody fill the form they will receive the message on screen thanks for contacting us we'll be touching shortly if you want you can change this text or if you want you can show the page and then you can choose any page from your website for example right now i have only sample page you can choose any page from your website and then that page will be shown or what you can do you can go to redirect and then send user to any url and guys make sure after making any change you save the form 
Okay, rest of the feature, they're all available in Pro version. We are not talking about Pro version today. And then we can go to marketing. If you want to connect this form with constant contact, you can do that or uncanny automator, you can do that. There's a whole new topic that's for some other day. And then we have payment feature, which is Stripe option available here. If you want, you can add a Stripe integration so that people can pay directly using your forms. This whole new topic, this is a business tutorial. And now we click on save. You can also click on exit here. And now you can see this is our new contact us form. This form is ready yet. Now how you can add this form on any page on your website. So what you can do, go to pages and then go to all pages. You can select the page from here where you want to add this form. For example, I can create a new page. So I click on add new page and then I can give it a title contact us and now I click plus icon here and then I can search here WP forms and you can see W form is selected here no matter if you're using Elementor page builder or any page builder you can directly integrate this so for example select a form from here you can select the contact us form and now the form is integrated here if I click on publish here publish once again then I click on view page you can see this is a contact page and the form is added nicely here let's do one thing let's delete this form from here you can always, if you're in Gutenberg, you can just use these options and then from here, you can delete any element. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's add a custom HTML here because sometimes you don't have this option to add W forms like this way. So what you need to do is go back to forms and then you need to copy the short code here. Copy this and then come back to a page and you can type the short code here and then save. And you can see your contact page here. So this is another way to add the contact form. Now let's talk about the second important thing which is email deliverability because in WordPress it is a very known issue when people submit the forms the email are not delivered. So what we can do in W forms we have this option here SMTP. Click on SMTP and then you need to install this plugin WP Mail SMTP which is another plugin created by the same company. It will install WP Mail SMTP from the WordPress plugin repository and then you click on open setup wizard and then you will present to the screen and then click on let's get started. Now you can see here your multiple SMTP option. If you're using send in layer, SMTP.com, Bravo, anything else, you can use all those things. If you're using Gmail, you can select this option here. But in most of the cases, if you're using other SMTP, which is the email provided by a hosting provider, you can select this option, which is the case for most of you guys. And then click on save and continue. And now you will have second step, configure mailer settings. So now you need to enter SMTP host, encryption, SMTP port and authentication, username and password. So where do you get all this information? So you need to log into your hosting cPanel or if you're using Hostinger, you can log into HPanel. There can be different names for this panel, but you can always find a place in your hosting where all the details about email are mentioned. So in a cPanel, it's here, email accounts. You can click on email accounts. Now you select the email and then click on connect devices or you will find a lot of different options where you can see this information. You can see here, I have all this information here. It's my email username. You can see the different server and ports. So what you need to do is, so we'll go back to SMTP and then we need to add SMTP host. So SMTP host, I will add my SMTP host here. And depending on your hosting, for a hosting it can be different. I will the common details for different hosting in description of this video. You can tell us for most of the servers and then SMTP port. Port here is 465. I'll just copy SMTP port and then paste it here 465. And then SMTP username, I need to add the email address, which I want to use send emails and then the password. And then from name, you can use anything. You can say admin and then from email. So here you need to add the email from which you send the email. I'm going to use the same email and then save and continue. And rest everything can leave like this and click on save and continue. And then skip this step and then again skip this step. And if you enter all the data hosting account, that's it. Now emails will not fail because this is known problem of WordPress and all the emails will be delivered. Okay, let's go to third part of this video where we can save the all the form submission data on the website. If you look here, if you click here on entries, you can see this is a paid feature where you can see all the entries on W forms. Sometimes some people who just started blogging or do not have big budget, they cannot afford it. So what you can do, you can hover on plugins and then click on add new. And from here you can search database add-on for W form. You can search for this plugin. And then if it's the second plugin, click on install now here. And then click on activate. Now the plugin is activated. So you just click here, W form DB. You can see the, both the forms here, but they have no submission. For example, if I go to contact form and I say Abhi Sharma and then my email, for example, proet.com. This is not a real email. And then I'll write test message and I click on send. And now if I'm here, if I refresh the page, you can see the contact form submission is one. If I click here, you can see the details submitted. W forms, you need to pay for this feature, but 
because we installed the WF form DB plugin. So now you can see all the entries here and you can just click here and you can use the details how you want them. I hope you get some value out of it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that and that really boosts my morale to create such amazing videos which make things simpler for you guys. And don't forget to share this video. Sharing is caring. And if you want to know how to get rank 1 on Google search engine, check out this video on screen.